putting in my video a 1950s context. 1950s context is really useful, especially for the study of the OMO print advert and also the Tide print advert, because both of those were produced during the 1950s. Here's the Tide advert. And here's OMO. So the 1950s was a boom period, both in terms of the baby boom and also a consumer boom. So soldiers had returned from war and started their families. And from 1946 onwards, there was a huge rise in the number of babies that were being born. Due to that, there were fewer women in full time employment. So their role was to look after the children. They were seen as the main caregiver and that was the expectation in society. And men had come back and held and reclaimed roles that were previously held by women during the war. Um, so they dominated the industries and media is no, ex no exception from that. So they were in positions of power. So when you look at the Tide advert and the OMO print advert, they were the people that were producing it. So it was coming from them because there would have been very few women involved in that. Um, and the sort of previous propaganda that was used to help encourage women with the war efforts was now used to um, make her sort of seem as if she was she should be a wife or a mother and that was her predominant role. So they used that imagery and changed it so there was a different message coming from that. Um, it was also the beginning of the civil rights movement. So there were racial tensions and um, there was segregation that was starting to come to an end and famously in 1955 Rosa Parks refused to give her seat up um, and that sort of added a spark to the movement um, and you see in some of the adverts that are around at that time period like OMO and like Tide there's a lack of diversity so in both of them just got representations of young or middle youth women who are white and there's a lack of diversity that was shown which was a reflection of society as well um, in America and in the UK and um, the representation of women in the 1950s was very glamorous that was part of the fashion because um, more products were being released in terms of clothing um, washing machines and um, the, as the economy began to recover, um, good, lots of consumer goods, so cars as well. So there's growing competition between businesses. Um, so that's why you see lots of the slogans trying to produce, trying to say that they are the very best product that people should buy. And also, as there was a, there was less regulation than now, so they could make bolder claims because. Um, the ASA, for example, hadn't been set up properly during the 1950s, so it's much more of a relaxed approach um, and you didn't have to necessarily back up your claims. So that's why you see some of the claims that are being made that are very bold and wouldn't necessarily be able to be um, proven. So, yeah, the women were judged very harshly on their appearance not just um, themselves but also their children and the way that their children looked so whether they looked smart whether their clothes were clean or freshly ironed if they weren't that would be a reflection on the mother and on her role um, so yeah we saw as i said a rise in patriarchal values um, and that's it for now thanks very much